How's your semester going? Mine's a little bit pale. You had the oven door open, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. So I've switched the heat up. I thought I slammed it. I didn't slam it. Let's get this yoghurt done, yeah? yeah? Just chop some mint. So far, we've got two <laughs> chops on. Right, so your, your samosa filling's done, but you've got to wrap the samosas. Yes. So you haven't started your dal. No. And you haven't started your rice yet. No. The blue team of Roshenda and Harry have good communication, but they really need to up the pace right now. Teams, you have just 20 minutes left. Red team, you need to get your ta ta, -ta in. You need to get your chutney done. You've got lots to do. To get our ta ta, -ta in? Yeah. Let's do that now. Yeah? Yeah. Cut around from the puff pastry. <laughs> We're not doing good with time at all, so we need to get, like, a puff. <laughs> Right now, I can see that clock ticking away and then not finishing the whole thing. Now, add a single layer of shallots and then two tablespoons of the onion marmalade. I don't actually know what it's supposed to look like, so it <laughs> looks all right. It smells good. Ishan hasn't even described the dishes to Danielle. He's assuming she knows what a tatata looks like and tastes like. What goes on top of the caramelised stuff? The pastry. A tartar town is basically an upside down pie. And then brush it with the egg wash. Yeah, egg yolk going on top. It's only a small disc of pastry, but it's still going to have to cook all the way through. Roshenda and Harry are also up against it, racing to get their spiced dal made. Right, so we need one green chilli chopped. Dal across the world can either be very, very soupy or quite thick. Which way are they going to go? They're going to have to keep their eye on it, otherwise it's going to turn to a puree. We still want a bit of texture of those peas running through that dough. Chuck all the ingredients in. Get it on, and then get your samosas folded. They still haven't rolled the samosas. I know Roshinda doesn't know how to fold them. They're leaving the thing that's the problem. No, 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 no. The thing that's the problem, you need to tackle head on, straight away. In fact, now. OK. So not too much filling, I would say. And then we're going to go up, so just fold up like this. And then across again. OK, yep, yeah, got it. Keep got going, the nap. you got it? Yep, yeah, got the nap. Just before the end? Yeah, butter. Butter. Boom, yeah. perfect. Bang that on the tray, let's get it in the oven. <laughs> Harry has left his oven door open. Now, if there's anyone big and strong enough to shut an oven door, it's Harry. Now it's touch and go whether they cook or not. I don't want to scare you all, but you've got ten minutes left. So I still haven't got the Scotch eggs frying yet. Get the egg, just cover it in the flour a bit. That Scotch egg should be well and truly made right now. Get the chicken mixture and mould it around. The chicken meat around the outside has got to be perfectly moulded and shaped. Make it look Scotch eggy. This is really hard. Don't make that too big. Too much chicken, that chicken won't cook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The breadcrumbs have got to be brown but not burnt. And the problem is, you can't see inside until you serve. I've not made a Scotch egg before, but I've eaten many, so I know what to, I know what to expect. Oh, my God. I'm frying mine. Just give it a little roll in it every couple of minutes. You've got just five minutes. Tartatans are in. Eggs are frying. We're getting there. How's your samosa going? Mine's a little bit pale. You had the oven door open, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. So I've switched the heat up. I thought I slammed it. I didn't slam it. Let's get this yoghurt done, yeah? yeah? Just chop some mint. We're nearly there, Harry. Woo! Got to make a green onion chutney, quickly. 50 grams of desiccated coconut. What's desiccated coconut look like? Oh, got it. Come on, we can do this. And then a handful each of coriander and mint, finely chopped. Do it the way my granddad does it. Chuck it in and taste it and hope for the best. <laughs> How's Dal, darling? It's cooked. I've got cooked. I think I'm good. You got two minutes. Things on plates, please. Cut the scotch egg in half. I've got Dal at number twelve. I've got um, the leaf with the yogurt in at number at fifteen, quarter past. Yeah. And I've got the lamb chops at quarter two. I think the tart tart -ta might be done. The samosa goes in between the, the the yogurt and the chop, yeah? Yeah, here. Perfect. OK. Right, let's get it out. I'm, I'm going to wait, literally. You're going to wait? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I need a 30-second countdown. Oh, 
I'm on my blocks. I'm ready to go. Final 30 seconds. That's it. Your time's up. Crying out loud. Let's all have a lay down, shall we?